So as you guys know, Yango actually lost his house recently, and uh, he spent too much hey, on gotcha up, games. But uh, apparently, we have a nice little a life update, and uh, apparently, he thinks that Silver Wolf is overpowered and omnipotent, which is the difference between how he felt about Jing Yuan because he thought Jing Yuan was uh, useless. So let's let's see what he's saying here, man. Let's 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 hope uh, he sticks to his guns this time because I I believe in Yango. He's my favorite Honkai Star Rail content creator. So we're gonna we're gonna see what he's saying. Hey, what's up, Hello? everyone, and welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail video yeah. and yet another Honkai Star Rail unit analysis video. And today I will be going over Silver Wolf, who, from my estimations, is super broken, and quite frankly, you would just have to be an unapologetic idiot to not summon for her. Okay, so let me tell you why I'm an unapologetic idiot and why I'm not going to summon for her. Because I don't give a shit if a character's good. I just like if I like who they are. And now here's the thing. I think Silver Wolf is great character-wise. I think her clothing is amazing. My problem is she's very small. I don't like that. Makes me feel weird. I want a woman. That's why I'm saving for Kafka because she is tall as shit and she is developed as fuck. So I'm just waiting. I don't need meta units. Okay, I don't need like these bozos trying to flex how good I am at free to play. I'm gonna just pull who I want. I'm gonna play the game that I want and I'm gonna summon for who I want. Hello. <laughs> what the f bro? Go back to your house, dog. Holy shit. I, I think I scared her. I noticed my um intimidation stat has risen quite a lot since becoming homeless. Oh, Anyways, damn. I'm just having to wonder about my um morning garbage looting farm route, but I will pick up recording back at base. Good. So one of the few hobbies I picked up from Good. being homeless that okay. I reckon I will keep at even after I unhomeless myself is um scouring dumpsters for loot. It that's what Honkai Star Rail players are forced to do in order to get Seller Jade. It's a lot like the dopamine rush you get when summoning for high rarity characters in an anime mobile game. Yeah, it's every single time you open up a trash can, you have a chance for five-star loot of getting, like, you know, maybe a half-eaten sandwich. That way you have dinner. Game, like, most dumpsters are filled with, well, trash, but every once in a while, you will find something cool. So, let's have a look what- In there, guys, you find my content. It's in here. Oh my, this is a bad one. Um, <laughs> I don't think I should show this on YouTube, but um, thank God I didn't have a big breakfast. Hold on a sec, I just found an R2-D2. Oh, well, don't shit! It, I do. Oh, shit! Okay, so just um took a bit of damage there, but... If any of you guys are wondering, why is this guy recording outside? It's because, you need to understand this, Every banner, thousands of gacha players go homeless everywhere. This is not a joke, guys. This is life now. And that's why you need to be careful with your spending. But more importantly, my fall did break R2's legs off, so hopefully okay. I can fix this. He's a robot. You can fix it. Sorry. We're back. Oh my, it's brilliant. It truly has a mind of its own. Yellow fellow trailblazers. Okay, what the f***? <laughs> What's that intro, dude? Holy shit, man. This guy has gone off the deep end of the words of R2-D2. Wow! And welcome back to the channel. So Yo. today we will be going over Silver Wolf, who is uncontestedly the most powerful trailblazer in the game now. And honestly... No, nah, that's that's still Sila. I didn't think I would need to make this video recommending people summon for her, as it really only takes elementary levels of reading comprehension to mm -hmm. decipher that Silver Wolf is very good. Unfortunately, it appears that the player base does lack basic reading comprehension, as when I pulled Silver Wolf's viability, more than half of players claim she was underwhelming. This is just flat out wrong and unacceptable. It's because they saw one thing about her being nerfed, but a lot of people don't realize is when a nerf happens before a character is released, that's because they're so f broken. And taking them from being 9 million damage to 800,000 damage is still fine when everybody else can only deal 700,000 damage. Particularly, this comment thread annoyed me as it makes the claim that her skill is useless. As you what? Uh, yeah, but here's the thing, guys. If we learn anything from Reddit, if you type a whole bunch, it must be the truth. This is what I mean by long does not equal truth. It's ridiculous. Bring the matching elements anyway. And also, I ain't reading all that. Please. And that only an idiot or colorblind person would need help with color matches. And like, first off, 8% of the population is colorblind, which is a sizable portion and probably greater than 8% of anime mobile gamers would classify as idiots. Um, I would guess that percentage is around 55%. So even by their own logic, this commenter is statistically wrong. 
But honestly, the argument of, uh, why I need Silver Wolf if I just bring correct types just shows a fundamental misunderstanding on why Silver Wolf is so OP. Okay, so I would like to just say that's true. You could just bring the right team comp, but the biggest thing about Honkai Star Rail is account flexibility and roster depth. But with Silver Wolf, that's going to help players at earlier stages in the game before you get that account depth. And it allows you to at least run one team of whatever the f*** you want and it'll always work. Which is why she's so f***ing insane. And considering I'm seeing this terrible argument everywhere, I knew it had to have originated from another theory crafter oh. that the player base is just blindly parroting. Oh. And after doing some research, I've come to the conclusion that this theory crafter was someone named Box2. Oh, thank God. I thought he was about to say me, bro. Holy f I was like, bro, I am not, I am not a f theory crafter. Also, drama? F drama? Who made a video the day before the banner dropped. A content creator said another content creator's name? Is there drama? Claiming Silver Wolf is unnecessary. Dude, if the enemy doesn't have a fire weakness, then just put a f***ing lock on your team, bro. You don't need this character. And that's really the only attempt at a point he makes in this entire analysis. And though, to be fair, this is the only theorycraft video from Box 2 I've watched, I have to say that I wasn't impressed. Yep. Honestly, Box 2 strikes me as someone who is unusually incurious, abnormally unintelligent, amazingly inarticulate, fantastically uncultured, and woefully uneducated. I and know. most annoyingly, he seems to be just so brazenly proud to um, possess all these defects. So guys, whose side are you taking? And uh, Yango versus Box 2. You know what's actually crazy? I heard there was a lot of a lot of lore and backstory to this. Yeah, I heard Yango tried to give money to Box 2, even though they knew they were free to play, and uh, that was awful. And the other thing is, is that Box 2 apparently was DMing uh, Yango shit talk and racist remarks in the DMs. Do I have proof of this? No, but I do have 5,000 Reddit karma. So you can pretty much take what I'm saying as lore. And uh, yeah, Yango and Box 2 have a long history of causing co or causing drama uh, in other communities. And even though it's because people came at them first, well, I'm gonna just going to go ahead and ignore that because it doesn't fit my narrative. Uh, so I'm going to just say it. Um, I think they're both pieces of shit. And that uh, uh, me personally, I'm only going to watch Tech Done after this because uh, this drama is just uh, is getting to a new level. And uh, it's making me a little bit uh, uncomfortable. So I I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and cover up because this this type of behavior uh I, I i would never i would never do that i would never and, and this type of nonsense needs to stop because i just want to play the game like every time i go live i just see drama 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 oh my god it's so bad like first off he misspoke and said the enemy doesn't have a fire weakness when right. i'm guessing he meant to say they do have a fire weakness right so i'm already having to steel man his argument for him but the thing is, and what people just don't understand, is that Silver Wolf does more than just give you type advantage. What's she it do? also debuffs the enemy. And I think I will just That's show true. off how this is so useful visually in a second. But um, first, let me show you all how to properly build Silver Wolf so you get the most out of her. That's it. So in terms of her overall stats, you're going to want to try and get all these numbers as high as possible. Next for her Light Cone and... My god, he's right! Them that have her face on it is going to be very good. So I'm using this one, but you can also um, summon for this one as well, which also has her face on it. So it will. My also God, he's Christina right. Equip a light cone that doesn't have her face on it. Yeah, and the more of the person's body they have in the light cone, the better. As it means that she um doesn't want it. Now for yep. traces, you should level everything. Relics, you're going to want to get the good ones. Yeah. And Eidolons, you will want to farm as many as possible before yep. the banner runs out. Hundred percent. Currently, I'm at zero but I will farm more later in the video but first I just yep. wanted to show off her gameplay and the thing is Yango obliterates the theory crafting community in mere seconds in seconds he has dismantled them people say they take months to do their research Yango does this in seconds theory crafters quake at the mere thought of getting into a theory crafting debate with a man this intellectual this powerful so I'm going to make my way towards this end game boss here Yep. Now for my team, I am basically running what I had for my Jing Yon team, but instead of using Jing, I am now using Silver Wolf, which yep. has made the team a whole lot better actually. I like this team a lot. It has very good um, elemental spreadage.
So with Silver Wolf, you pretty much always want to use your skill on a target unless it's already applied. So we applied Thunder Weakness to there the enemy, go. but more important, if we look at the details, we see it will also take more Thunder damage. And Insane. this is going to make my support Ting Young hit like an absolute Yeah, trick. Ting Young is about to pop the f*** off here. Truck. Look at that. So as you just look saw, at that. Ting Sneed is doing unusually look at that. damage, and this is basically why Silver Wolf is so good. She effectively turns your entire team into DPS characters. So, unfortunately, the stupid hoe March 7th once again just can't provide the team with the support they need, so I'm probably gonna die here. That's yeah, what a stupid bitch. Said this team is doing far better with Silver Wolf than it did with Jimmy Wong, <laughs> and I really oh, think the farm along with Silver Wolf. Oh, and it's be so good, boss. dude. It's okay. so good. I'm going to start farming Eidolons, and I will cut the video here and show you all my progress when I'm done. Oh, let's do it. So, welcome back, everyone. So, unfortunately, I was only able to farm Eidolon 4 before I ran out of resources. Holy shit! You didn't show it? Um, the thing is, is I did spend most of my 300k gems farming for Jimmy Kimmel. Um, like I... E6 Jig, you want This guy's a... Well, dude. He got his weapon maxed out, and honestly, he didn't get much better. Like my E Zero Silver Wolf actually got farther in that boss battle than he did. I just had the idea of selling this stupid robot I found on eBay in order to farm E Six Silver Wolf, and R Two, as you can see, is totally oblivious to me doing this. If anybody buys this robot, bro, I'm about to lose my. F my, bro. So I listed it for $2,500, but I'm willing to take a bit less. And I may have exaggerated R2's capabilities. And I'm gonna look it up if it's still for sale. Nah, it's not real, bro. Oh, that's so lame. I would have bought it, dog. Damn. But I listed it for two thousand. Or he sold it. Or maybe he sold it. Maybe he sold it. Than five hundred dollars, but I'm willing to take a bit less. And I may have exaggerated R2's capabilities and size dimensions, just maybe a little bit. Um, we do a little bit of scamming here. So it's been a couple hours and already have four offers for R2. Um, no. Way. Um, I will go over the eBay metagame another time in a future tips and tricks video. But anyways, I think it's time to knock R2 unconscious and pack him up. No, stop. No, bro. I can't bear to watch anymore. Okay, so with that eBay money, I was able to easily farm my Silver Wolf's e What the f*** is happening? What the f*** is happening, dude? Why would you do that? And I was also able to farm for a maxed out weapon as well. And I think with these upgrades, I should be able to easily defeat this endgame boss now. Here we go! Boom! Ooh, Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay, yeah, selling that dumpster born RTD2 for sure boosted my account to the next level. Alright, so that's all for this video. Um, kind of a mix of an analysis, guide, and showcase. I hope you all got some useful information out of. Overall... Yeah, so pretty much if you're a content creator, sell your useless shit online and uh, get a million dollars. Chat, I will be selling my Among Us blanket online for 10 grand. So if you have any offers, feel free to send that. on My PayPal is paypal.me forward slash techtown. I will put that in my uh, Twitch layout and my description on YouTube. I'm not getting as many Silver Wolf Eidolons as possible by any means necessary is from what I can see in account ruining my Yango, I'm gonna make you a deal, buddy. Next time a unit comes out that you want, I'll get you one copy on the house. You need to take care of your life, okay? You need to take that money. You need to put in the savings, okay? Things will get better. You don't need to do this. We'll get through this, buddy. That's my personal recommendation. As long as this video gets 50,000 views. <laughs> See you on the next one. Peace, boys. Go follow Yango. Good video.